Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Portal Stories Mel. This is a, a fan mod, I believe, of Portal 2, that we're going to start playing now. So let's start a new game in the story mode, and let's see what this is like. This kind of fits in between Portal and Portal 2, quite nicely, actually. And it feels really well made as well. Chapter 1, 1952. something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military, but I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing, lots of doing, which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait, wait, where are we again? Uh, okay, so, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Well, um, he sounds different, but that's to be expected, I suppose. Testing area. Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait, Chris, get out of here. How do you spell station? for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Pack your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> Okay, here we are. Has signs for repulsion gel. And the science spheres. Superconductor test? Um... Um... I don't know if I want to be part of that one. But anyway, let's look around. Oh, well, anyway. We love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. Okay, well, this is a cool place. 
told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, mm -hmm. head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. Okay, I can do that. That's a pretty cool picture. Gotta say. Looks like the music just playing. Casually and cool. I'm like. But anyway. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys, Jig and Aldemy, built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Okay, we can take the elevator, I guess. Down into... Number one. Salt mine. There's also a, a zero, zero and a minus one salt mine thing, but that's normal. There's only one testing sphere, or science sphere, in this hole, though, according to the sign. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science down a little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine and do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test could happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the you're fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss when I can. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here. And I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. This is just super cool seeing all this from this angle as we're going deeper and deeper. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry though, our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes, uh, an hour at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry, we ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. I like how we haven't even really done anything, but it feels like it's it's taken this simple thing of going down an elevator and made it really cool. 
Like, the pacing is just spot on with everything else that's happening. pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovators short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> This is a really cool place to have a rel relaxation vault thing. But anyway, let's head in here. Test subject waiting area. Okay. Got a little trophy there. Pretty cool. But yeah, they've got turret things that aren't active here. <laughs> so that one's facing the wrong way. Can't turn it around there. Wait for attendant. Let's go in here. Docking station 003. If you're hearing this Let's head on in. Is, uh, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear hmm. me? Oh, right, you can't I, uh, extended so relaxation. Sorry, astronauts, Olympian, or war hero, there was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry, though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just, uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. Okay, I can do that. Um... This is normal. This is the same, right? Okay, well, let's jump down the here. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Um. Okay. Let's hop through here. Um. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new test. Congratulations. You get to test something else now. Double the experiments for you. Old reliable. Did Was there like an earthquake or something? I don't know. Also, whoa. Test one today. Well, okay. Is that a paperclip? That is a paperclip. There's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. 
Don't worry though, we built yes, like test. This. Okay, well, uh, don't worry we have. About that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spirits in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. We have a portal gun with us now. We have both portals right off the bat, which is good. <laughs> Alert your superiors if you see OSHA investigator. <laughs> Depth of, de of. Oh my goodness. This is actually a lot funnier than I realized. I, I've never seen this, apparently. Just all of the. <laughs> ordinary police officer journalist. Oh my goodness. This is the funniest thing I've seen all day. Just alert your superior if you see any of these people that could be a problem for them. Uh, anyway, let's portal through here. I think I have to jump out the window again. Just to get through. But anyway. This is pretty cool. Oh, okay, cool. Is that a computer or is that... What, what is that? I don't even know. Well, let's say it was just an earthquake. Up down here. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future time? got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. Okay, um... Right, so, the earthquakes. Kind of did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. Okay, well, let's take a look around then, because I think we need to go probably up here. Like this. Now, there's also that there, and this here, so let's drop through that. I know, things might look different than what you're used to. But, uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some, some, uh, Aperture Science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. Ah, uh, this wasn't here before. To Enrichment Sphere, Bravo Volta. Keep out, do not enter. <laughs> oh my goodness. 1959. I'm sure that's just a depth thing, right? 1961. Verification. Condemned for verification. Um. Yes. On that right. Floor is one of the new testing tracks. Totally, completely new. Get through it. New. Head to the first testing sphere. I'll let you know. Okay. More. Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through, and installed one where people needed to go through. So we can't go through here, is what you're saying. Okay, well, let's go this way then. Main power, aperture brand, okay. Just turn that off. You can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trip a circuit breaker that causes an entire part of the facility power grid to blow up. So remember, oh. the one in here is good. All others, bad. Also, this is a giant sealed door thing. I That's think cool. These switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Okay, so this is like the one in Portal 2. Also, apparently I can't hit that switch, so let's go back over this way. And turn the power back on. Remember, you can always turn the power on or off again. Because that gets rid of that. But it puts back if we turn it back on, but now we can get through here. Uh, but now, let's go over here. Put a portal there. And let's activate these. Oh, I placed the wrong portal, didn't I? That's fine. Just need to do that. We're good. Oh, the thing's just down. Um. Oh my.
ominous music. Well, seems fine. Let's head down there. Okay. Let's get around here. There's also that there. Cool. Okay, thank you. Know your antimatter risks. Hmm. No horseplay. Uh, do not open containers yourself. Okay. This is fine. I want to grab stuff up and take it through the fizzler thing. But anyway. Hmm. your, uh, reflexes, you know, after your short sleep. Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. Uh, but anyway, we need to jump onto this, this gel flow and get to the elevator. This is not comforting to be on here at all. Okay. Just need to make our way to the testing track. We should be good. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, up we go. Oh! Bright flash of light. Oh yes, Bravo Volta, the... Hold on. Fifth testing track, yes, fifth. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. I, look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine. Okay. Yes. We have blue gel and water. So we can do a couple of things. Can't take it through there, right? Like through there. Um, but we can do a bit of this. To cover the floor here. And also over there. Um, so we can get over there now. Ah, I didn't mean to fall. Hang on, just give me a minute. Okay, so we can place this here as well. So we can get up there, which is where a cube is going to spawn. So we can do that. Um, I might just put that over there for a second. So I don't get the cube all covered in goop. That's why the water's there probably. Uh, but anyway, Pulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute. Is it true the gel is sweeter, slightly less non toxic? Um, for that causes subsequently uh, digested food items to bounce off the uh, lining of. I can't read this extremely well. Stomach and out of his or her mouth. Various, for various reasons. This product was pulled from the shelves. I, yeah, I can see that. I can understand. Uh, but anyway, let's bounce across here. Okay, and that deactivates that. So we can get across here with everything. Um, and now, we need to do something else. So let's do that there. I think that should be good. Let's put a portal there. Well, so this means we could just take the gel across here as well. Without having to worry about anything else. But let's drop through here now. Falling and bouncing off of that. All the way over here. There's also a thing over here. But I don't think we can take anything across with us. So I guess that's just in case you didn't take the cube with you. This test is lead light, according to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s filing cabinet. Says it's harmful to humans. Uh, I mean, not harmful to humans. You'll be okay. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the boxes. We got a ton backstocked ready for this kind of thing. Thrown at the wall, destroyed, rinse and repeat. Useless little things. Made them in an hour. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. 
Oh, I probably need to stand on the switch so it can hit that, like that. And that's spawning in a second cube now, so I should probably change that around so I can take this cube with me. Now, let me think. I think, I think, I think, I think. I don't want that there. I want this... I think I actually want it to keep doing what it's doing with falling through. So let me destroy that. Put that back there. So now that's doing its thing. But now, I think, I want to take this and put it onto the button so that this will bring it down. And then when that destroys both cubes, it pushes me up here. But now I need a s another cube. So can I just do that? Like that? Cool. Great job, astronauts, Olympian, or war hero. You really are a merit to science. Or something like that. J just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. Yeah, right. I'm fine. Now see, this test uses the new Aperture Science Innovator's Propulsion Gel. It allows you to... No, wait, hold on. This one simply didn't make that until the 70s. Never you mind that. Um. Just, uh, solve science. Solve science. Cool, let's, let's test, I guess. Now, Repulsion Gel. Or Propulsion, I don't remember what they're called. Orange, orange and blue gel. That's what it's called. That's not exactly what I needed there. But that's okay. Let's put that there instead. Of what I was just doing. I can actually get the blue gel from there as well anyway. So let's just place a blue portal there. Orange portal there. And let's stand the switch. Giving us blue gel there. Which also means now possibly... If I have played my cards better. Is this portable? I think it is. No, it isn't. So I probably need to put a bluish portal there so I can drop some goop on the edge of that because we've already, we should know what to do with that since we've played portal. Uh, but now, let's place the orange portal up there. Let's see if I can actually bounce through here. Please. Not quite. Well, I guess I could just do this the old-fashioned way. Or I just go through the portal over there. Okay, let's go. This means we can grab the cube now. And take that with us through this portal. I don't know if I want it to be over here, though. If I want it to be over there. Depends what I need coming up next. I guess it would be the blue gel, though. If anything... So, hang on. Also, I can't get back up from here. So, is there something I'm missing? There's that there. Okay. Let me take the cube back over here for a second. Okay. Let's put that on there. So, we have blue gel continuously. Actually, no. I probably don't want that. Do I? Because that's going to get in the way of the portals. Unless I just do that and then don't put a portal there for the moment. And then I should be good, and I can do those two portals there, so I can get up there. Okay. That works. Uh, but now... Now... I need to get over there. So I actually need the portal there. But I also need to go back now. And I feel like that's going to possibly ruin... Everything else I've done so far, unless I do something sneaky, like this. I can't really see. Well, I guess I can get that. Oh, don't knock me off, please. Thank you. Oh, but I just messed it up again. Um, hang on. Okay, like that. That was not how you're supposed to do that, by the way. 
Uh, but I also think I need the cube to come with me, actually, so I don't need the blue gel as much as I thought I did. Can I just... I probably could have just put, put the portal there from here, and I would have solved what I needed to solve. Unless I put the blue gel on the platform down from there, and then bounce off of that and place a portal there quickly so I can go like that, but I feel like this is probably the better way to do this. Mel, I don't think you're that stupid that you're going to fall for this anymore. I'll be blunt now. I'm not Cave Johnson. This isn't the 1950s. Everyone you knew and loved is dead. And now you're stuck here in Aperture Science, down with the trash. Like me. After everyone left because of that boat. Which I'm sure you already knew, but, eh, uh, whatever. However, I can get us out of here. If you're willing to let a voice in the sky who just told you he was lying the entire time he was talking to you control nearly every movement you make. Is that okay? I, I, I'll i just take your silence as a yes. Oh, right. You can't answer me. Uh, uh, just do what I say and you'll be fine. Okay? So we've been lied to once again. Except we're Mel, we're a different character, we're not Chell this time. But, as we probably suspected earlier than this, time has passed a long way to the future because we've, we've been in stasis too long again. But anyway, Virgil is the character's name since the text on the screen was had his name in front of it. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.